YouTube, it's your girl, Jimmy Pink, and I am playing around with this new video editor, so what better time to do a video? So, obviously if you've even taken a look, taken a look at my channel, one of my favorite TV shows is RuPaul's Drag Race. But one of my other favorite TV shows that I watch faithfully is Once Upon a Time. Now, if you're not familiar with Once Upon a Time, I'm going to do a quick overview of the show so that once I start getting into things, you kind of understand where my mind is blown and how Once Upon a Time has officially ruined my childhood. So... It is a primetime show, so it is, to me, geared more towards adults. I guess you can kind of say that it's family viewing. It airs on Sundays at 8 o'clock, so like not the super late slot. But the premise of the show is, is that everybody in this realm, that it's like regular current day, America, Maine to be exact, Storybrooke, Maine, um, it was actually a curse and they're actually all fairy tale characters in real life. Um, since then they have expanded from straight up fairy tales that you know like Little Red Riding Hood, Snow White, um, Cinderella, like Sleeping Beauty, like the ones that you know as fairy tales, um, that has expanded on to other worlds of public domain, they've gone into Frankenstein, they've gone into the Wizard of Oz, they've gone into Wonderland, um, and of course the big one is, is ABC is owned by Disney, so a lot of these takes on these fairy tales are, in fact, the actual Disney characters. So when you have the Little Mermaid, when she showed up, it wasn't just... Hans Christian Anderson, Little Mermaid, it was Ariel. Um, Beauty and the Beast, it's Belle. So, that's, that's your premise. Now, if you've never seen the show, that might sound corny, but I assure you, I thought so too, but the way they do things is very, very clever. Like, for example, there's, and there's some other characters, there, Rumpelstiltskin, for example. Yes, he's Rumpelstiltskin, but he's also this other entity called the Dark One, which is like not really based in fairy tale, but it's still magic and fantasy. And it turns your soul so dark it makes your outer appearance look different. So when you have Captain Hook come up, and you know, the crocodile took Captain Hook's hand. He was referring to Rumpelstiltskin as the Dark One because his skin was scaly and green. He just made fun of him and called him a crocodile. Or that Rumpelstiltskin is also the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Um, so there is some liberties being taken, a lot of times very, very cleverly. Most cases, very cleverly. Um, but as most shows do, unless you just have excellent, excellent writers. Most shows eventually start getting to the point where you're like, you was doing the bird, but you took it too far. Um, so where we're at now, we have Zelina, who is the Wicked Witch of the West from Oz, is Regina, who was the evil queen from Snow White's sister. And their mother is the queen of hearts in Wonderland. So, <laughs> like I said, like they take some liberties if you haven't seen the show. And if you have seen the show and you're watching this because you're a fan of the show, you that's why we love it. Like, how the fuck, who would even think of that? Like, the evil queen's mother was the chick that Rapunzel taught to turn, to spin straw into gold who ends up getting banished by her daughter to Wonderland, who ends up being the Queen of Hearts. But hold up, though. This bitch was whoring around because she wanted to be royalty so bad, screw somebody. 
that she was supposed to marry that lied and said she was he was a prince, but wasn't a prince. So gave her baby up, and that baby ended up getting transported to Oz in a tornado some kind of way and became the witch, Wicked Witch of the West. And the reason why her skin is green is because she's jealous of her younger sister. The shit is fucking... Kudos to the writers on that shit because that's some fan fiction for your ass. Her name is Emma Swan. She's not a fairy tale character. Like, I keep saying, I'm like, are we alluding that she's the ugly duckling? Because she was left and not physically ugly, but like just the life that she lived because she was an orphan and she went from like foster home to foster home and she ended up like basically being like a thief and stuff before she went to prison to become a bounty hunter. So with her name being Emma Swan, are we implying that she's the ugly duckling? We don't know, right? Um, then, so that fucks with me a lot. I'm like, so, Snow, y'all can come up with Rumpelstiltskin is the dark one and the beast from Beauty and the Beast and Mulan. Oh, oh I'm going to oh, I'm gonna get into the gay shit in a minute. I'm going to get into that. I'm going to get into that gay shit. But your daughter ain't no kind of character and then your son is the author. That, that shit pissed me off. Let's bring the author into it. That was the worst story line ever I want to get into the shit that fucks me up first of all is this young and the motherfucking wrestling because how is all the goddamn storybook people related that pisses me off so we done went into Emma Swan alluding to her being the ugly duckling or Jesus apparently because she's the savior and she Jack Sprack can eat no fat his wife can eat no lean damn they ain't even in there they're not even in there but um Real talk. You're, you're the savior. Your mother is Snow White. Your father is Prince Charming. Your son is the author. Your son is also the biological son of Rumpelstiltskin's son. So Rumpelstiltskin is his granddaddy. Rumpelstiltskin is married to Belle. Rumpelstiltskin it's Peter Pan's son. Peter Pan and Captain Hook got beef. Captain Hook and Rumpelstiltskin also got beef because Rumpelstiltskin's wife, the author's grandmother, was in love with Captain Hook and ran off with Captain Hook. Okay. Now, the evil queen is Snow White's stepmother. Snow White's stepmother, the evil queen, adopted Emma Swan, the savior's son. So he got two moms. She, as I said, is the sister of Zelina, who is the Wicked Witch of the West. who are both the child of Cora, who was also the maid in that Rumpelstiltskin taught to spin straw into gold and got banished to Wonderland and is the Queen of Hearts in Wonderland. Who was her first love? Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> like, this shit, I'm just like, all y'all storybook motherfuckers can't be related. Cause now it's a whole, it, the shit's getting murky. It's some murky incestual shit going on now because y'all can't all be related like that. Like, it's to the point where characters come in and you like, oh, all right, who your people be? Who your people be? Now those are like the main characters of the show. Now, I mentioned ahead of time that there are some other characters that not necessarily get their shine. So, Snow White's best friend is Little Red Riding Hood. Okay? Um, and instead of Little Red Riding Hood being afraid of the big bad wolf, she is the big bad wolf. That is a turn. And it, that's not an original thing to say. Little Red Riding Hood is. I said, Little Red. Okay, oh my God. Little Red Riding Hood 
is actually a werewolf. That's not an unheard of premise. Cool. We've also had Sleeping Beauty and Mulan. And of course, because you bring in the Wicked Witch of the West, eventually you brought in Dorothy, the wizard. You know, because you go to Oz and we went to Wonderland, so we've met these other people. But they may have not been mainstays, they have not stayed. They tried to do Alice in Wonderland, they tried to do a spinoff, that shit was the motherfucking Jake, and then they was like bringing in Jafar from Aladdin. Like, I, I can't make this shit up. Like, this is like the greatest fan fiction ever sold. Fuck a Fifty Shades of Grey. This is Fifty Shades of Disney. Like the shit, and, and this is where I'm about to get into that. So, motherfuckers is fucking <laughs> on this show. Okay, Regina used to have be fucking her huntsman because he like she took her his heart. So he anytime they take somebody's heart. They can control them. We started out with that. Oh! I left that shit out about the motherfucking family tree. So Zelina does a spell to make herself look like Maid Marian because Regina, the evil queen from Snow White, go with Robin Hood. <laughs> but they thought, she, he thought his wife was dead. She was alive for a hot second, but Zelina killed her and took her persona, but we didn't know that at the time. Knocks her up. So now, Regina and Zelina, who are sisters, Zelina's baby is by Regina's boyfriend, Robin Hood. Like, th th yeah. Shit gets crazy. I left that one out. So, obviously, somebody just had a baby, so Robin Hood was fucking who he thought was in love with Regina, but was fucking Maid Marian, who he thought was Maid Marian, but was really Zelina. So, she just got pregnant. Snow White and Prince Charming just had a baby. Um, it's, it's fucking going on in, in the fairy tales and the stories, you know. <laughs> Here's what really grinds my fucking gears. Now they're making motherfuckers gay. Now, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I feel like at this point, unless this is the first video you've ever seen of me, I no longer need to explain that I'm an LGBT advocate. I don't feel like I need to explain that anymore. However, and I've said this before too in other videos, I do feel like the, the agenda is getting pushed a little bit too much for my taste. So, two major storylines. The first one I really didn't care that much. And that was Sleeping Beauty and Mulan. Oh yeah, by the way, speaking of Disney bringing all they shit, I'm going to get to that after I get to the gay shit. Um... Sleeping Mulan is helping Sleeping Beauty find Sleeping Beauty's true love, which is whoever the prince was off of Sleeping Beauty. I can give a fuck. I never liked Sleeping Beauty. But it, it's Aurora. And it keeps alluding to Mulan is also in love with the prince. And then at some point in time, in some kind of fucked up way, it switched to Mulan was in love with Princess Aurora. I'm like, wait a minute, hold up. See, first of all, let me tell you what I don't like. The story of Mulan was like, they talk about Frozen, but Mulan was like, you know, I'm doing this to save my father and to save my village, and I'm doing yada, 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 fuck a man, I'm going to I'm gonna have to be my own man. So you took the one character that faked being the opposite gender and made her a lesbian? On top of the fact of the only character that y'all had at the from that point in time, that was a minority. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. Why do minorities always have to be the gay ones? That's what pisses me off. Okay, but anyway. But that never comes to fruition. They left that very ambiguous. Like, you're like, uh, she could still be talking about something. She lost the love of her life because they ended up together. 
It could be because she was in love with the prince, but it's a lot of signs pointing that she was in love with Aurora. So they left that pretty much, you know, that could go either way. So this season, we finally bring back Ruby, and Ruby is the girl. Ruby is Red Riding Hood. They bring back the girl, and now they got Dorothy. too much care when it was Mulan and Sleeping Beauty because those are not two major, major, major characters. Not even in the Disney canon, they're not. But you're going to take Little Red Riding Hood and Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz and make them fucking lesbian lovers. Now, wait, wait a motherfucking minute. Now, that's that shit I don't like. That was unfucking necessary to me. I did not fucking like that. Like, you could have even went the way of the frozen thing since she already fucking did it. And when she needed true love's kiss, it could have been, like, from a friend. Like, she could have just, like, kissed her forehead and because they had became best friends or something like that. Or they had just became so close, like sisters. I'm, I'm, I'm not digging the gay subtext with the motherfucking classic fairy tale characters. Don't add that element to some shit. You want to do that shit with the shit that y'all's like real shit, Disney? Y'all want to do that shit with Mulan and Sleeping Beauty? That's y'all shit. Y'all do that. You do not take the public domain motherfuckers that everybody and they grandmother, mama, children, aunt, uncle, niece, nephew, puppy, kittens know and make them motherfucking lesbians. You don't do that shit. I don't, I don't go for that. We know for a fact that ain't how them fucking characters was wrote to be. Don't fucking do that shit, man. I, I, don't, I don't like that gay shit. Not, not like that. Not no shit that's supposed to be for kids. Not no shit that is classic motherfucking literature. Don't do that shit, man. I don't, I don't like that. The other thing I don't like is, is Disney pushing their own fucking characters. So like I said, when Once Upon a Time started... And yes, we know like the main character is Snow White because Snow White is, you know, their first animated feature film and they were doing that. So when you brought in the Little Mermaid, but it was Ariel, I didn't mind that because the Little Mermaid is a fairy tale. You know, it's, it's Hans Christian Andersen. It's a classic story, you know. I didn't mind that it was Ariel. Y'all own the rights to Ariel. I don't mind that. I didn't mind that Belle was Beauty from Beauty and the Beast straight up. I didn't mind that. When they tried to capitalize on Frozen, so when you have all these characters that were actually fairy tale characters that y'all haven't even tapped into yet, and y'all went straight for Frozen. Elsa and Anna, the whole shebang and bang. I'm like, y'all ain't even did Rapunzel yet. Y'all done been in New York, so I don't know what y'all waiting on to bring Tiana. Because y'all done already been in New York, so y'all done been in the real world. It's Storybrooke, Maine. Y'all in the United States. I'm not trying to hear that. I'm going to need Princess Tiana, and I'm going to need her ASAP. Um, but there's... Tons and tons and tons of children's stories and nursery rhymes that y'all, that are public domain that y'all have not tapped into, and y'all just went straight into Frozen because that was right after Frozen came out. It was like the next year they did Frozen. I'm like, bitch, don't, they don't, don't nobody want to see this. We just got, we ta we just got over here and fucking let it go. And then y'all gonna bring that shit. I had, I watched that season, but I ain't like it. And then, once that, once them floodgates opened up, it was all Disney properties, man. Like I said, you gonna say, these three, the queens and mean. I get Ursula, because y'all already brought the Little Mermaid. And I get Maleficent, because Sleeping Beauty is there. And Maleficent and um, the Evil Queen is girls. Like, I get all of that. Cruella de Vil is a regular fucking human being. 101 Dalmatians ain't even a fucking fairy tale. Why don't y'all bring in the little mice from the rescuers down under, too? Um, but I like Corona DeVille and her character is actually good. I fucks with her. 
But I was still like, she ain't, she not fairy tale. She's a Disney property. She not fairy. She not fairy tale. Um, motherfucking the Brave one, where they brought in Merida from Brave. I'm like, why, 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 why we got Braveheart in the middle of the goddamn show? I don't. Why? And like I said, then you brought in Hercules. Which I like the direction that this story is going, with the exception of that little red Riding Hood, Dorothy from Wizard of Oz, gay shit. But the rest of it, like, I'm digging. I'm liking it. I just don't. If you wanted to bring in Hades in the underworld. Greek mythology is public domain. You didn't have to bring in Hercules and Meg. You didn't have to. You, if you wanted Hades, we only needed Hades. He didn't have to have the blue flame of hair because y'all Disney either. He didn't have to do none of that. He could have just been Hades, the underworld. Y'all have already did the Wizard of Oz. Y'all have done Wonderland. Y'all have been to Neverland. Y'all have been to New York. Y'all have been in other realms and other places. So to be in hell and have it be Greek mythology in there, you didn't need to bring in your Disney property for that. You didn't have to. It wasn't necessary. Um, so stop with the pushing y'all properties down our throats for once upon a time. Like tell the stories the way y'all been telling the stories, intertwine the stories the way y'all been intertwining the stories. Do what y'all was doing them first couple seasons that made y'all great. Too much of this. Don't bring the Frozen, Merida, from Brave. Like, don't. Some of y'all properties need to be like one or one down. Like, even though I like Cruella Deville's character, I do. I do like her character. I just don't think she. And they they're writing her well. I just don't think she fits in the world that they've created. I just really don't. So I really, really, really. Be easy with pushing y'all properties down our throats. Y'all already doing live action movies with shit that's already been done. You know what I'm saying? Like Disney, y'all motherfuckers need an award for preventing global warming because y'all is doing all the recycling. I am so sorry because I think I actually got that joke from Double Toasted. Like I was thinking it and then like right when I was saying the recycle line, I'm like, oh, I've heard that before. So I think I just stole somebody's joke. But they are doing all the recycling. Like all of it. Greenpeace in this bitch. Um, but yeah, Once Upon a Time is like kind of fucking me up, man. Like then Captain Hook is in love with Emma Swan. And then like they went to hell. So like they bring custom characters back. So like... <laughs> hey, this shit was awesome though. That, hey, that was... That was the best shit right there <laughs> all season was when Rumpelstiltskin's ex-wife, who was also Captain Hook's lover, and they said, we need your help to get Captain Hook. And she looked at Emma Swan and said, so you've been with my son and my man? I was just like, yes! Shady boots! Shady boots! I love it. I love Shady Boots. That's why I love Regina and Zelina so much. Like, I just love Shady Boots, but that was like the best part this season. That shit was like, yeah! All, all the diva and the tea and the spilling and all that was like just the best thing this season so far. But, um, anyway, I really ain't got shit else to say. And like I said, I just wanted to test this new editing footage and since I just watched it that was the last thing I watched before I came to work was last night's episode so fuck it I want to see play around with something have something to do today mm. thirsty motherfucker kind of like my hair anyway this is